Is the housing market going to crash and are home prices in New Jersey going to drop? In this video, I'm gonna go into detail on what's happening in the New Jersey real estate market, why I don't see a crash happening, and why this still may be the best time to buy and sell a house. Yes! Let me give you my Drew sense. I'm Drew Thompson, a realtor with Coldwell Banker in Westfield, New Jersey, just outside New York City, and thanks for stopping by my channel. I regularly post home tours of beautiful homes just outside the city, a show called The Real Estate Rundown, where I go over what's selling, what's not, and I post videos like this where I give you my Drew sense about the real estate market. Click the subscribe button to be notified anytime I post a new video. Today, I want to go over exactly what's happening in the real estate market in New Jersey, specifically in Union County just outside New York City. Make sure to watch to the end for three strategies I've used successfully right now to help buyers avoid overpaying and avoid a bidding war when buying their next house. So, I've structured this video in this way. I'm going to go through three major things that are going on in the market today and what that means to both buying and selling a home. Also, any of the information that I mentioned in this video, I'll put a link in the description so you can do your own research if you want. Let's jump in. Here's my true sense on what's happening in the real estate market in New Jersey. Number one, I get this question more than any other. Are home prices continuing to rise? Many analysts projected that home price appreciation would slow dramatically in the fall of 2021 and then continue to soften throughout 2022. So far, that hasn't happened. The major price indices, FHFA, Case Shiller, and CoreLogic are all revealing ongoing double-digit price appreciation. So what does this mean for you, right? Well, whether you're a first-time home buyer or someone looking to sell their current house and buy a home that better fits your needs, waiting to decide what to do will cost you in two major ways. Number one, mortgage rates are forecasted to rise even more this year. Home prices should continue to appreciate at double digit levels for some time. So if you wait, rising mortgage rates and home price appreciation will have a dramatic impact on your monthly mortgage payment. Just as a reminder, make sure you watch till the end for the bonus content. You won't want to miss the three key strategies that I'm using right now to successfully help buyers avoid overpaying and avoid a bidding war when they buy their next house. Okay, number two, what can you expect from the spring real estate market? All right, so there are multiple factors causing uncertainty, right? Including the war overseas, rising inflation, and the first rate increase from the Fed in over three years. The housing market, though, seems to be relatively immune. Experts are saying that the New Jersey real estate market will be much like the rest of the country. We can expect that mortgage rates will climb, and that'll have a direct impact on your monthly mortgage payment and purchasing power. They're also predicting that housing inventory will rise over the next 90 days. So if you've been a buyer and you've been frustrated with the limited supply of homes for sale, it looks like you could finally find some relief this spring. However, be prepared to act quickly. If you find the right home, you need to make an offer the next day. If you're a seller, listing your house now instead of waiting for this additional competition to hit the market just makes sense. Number three, and this is important, multiple offers is the new normal. Multiple offer situation guys are here to stay. Gone right now are the days of 20 and 30 offers on a home, but still, more than one offer on a house and you're competing with other people, that still is huge right now. Okay, as promised, here are the three key strategies that I've successfully used with buyers right now to get their offers accepted without overpaying or a bidding war. Number one, I have my buyers and clients searching for homes that have been on the market longer than 15 days. If a house is priced correctly, then it's selling in less than five days. So if a house has been sitting for 15 days, there's something up. And it could be a great opportunity to come in and make an offer below the asking price. Number two, exclusives and shadow listings are another way that I help my clients beat out the other buyers, right? So exclusives mean they will never make it to the multiple listing service. So you have a chance to make an offer before the rest of the market does. Shadow inventory is where your agent finds homes that were on sale at one point but are not on sale anymore and proactively reaches out to them on your behalf. Number three, expanding your search into neighboring towns. Sometimes the difference between two blocks can make all the difference if they're in two different towns from a pricing perspective. Thanks for watching. If you're wondering how all these factors are affecting the price of your home, click the link on the screen right now for a free HomeBot Home Equity Report. I, I use this to monitor my home's value and it's really cool. You'll get an email from me once a month with your equity position in your house based on the market. 
I hope you enjoyed today's videos. The real estate market in New Jersey is still busy and it's a great time to buy or sell your house. But hey, that's just my true sense. See you next time. Oh,